Hello, my name is Alex Askarov and I'm going to tell you a little bit about who invented the sewing machine. Now, many countries claim to have invented the sewing machine, Germany, France, England, but the real invention, the proper invention was in America and we're going to ignore all the inventions that were useless because it's pretty, it's un, you know, what's the point of in, inventing a vacuum cleaner that doesn't vacuum? So we're going to look at the first sewing machine in the history of the world, the first proper sewing machine. Now that was put together by Isaac Merritt Singer. He was an American, his father was German, but he was an American born in America and he grew up as a, as a wandering, almost people say almost like a vagrant, he grew up as a beggar but he had this inventive streak through him. And by the time he was a young man he had invented several things. And then he got a job as a mechanic and he could see in the 1840s, he could see all these ideas of sewing machines, but they were pretty useless. Elias Howard invented a sewing machine, sort of a sewing engine, which um, you put the fabric onto pins and, and you jabbed yourself and you moved a few inches and it was useless. Um, and loads of people had invented sewing machines before uh, Isaac Singer, but he made the first good one. And in 1851, he was granted the patent, or no, let's say he was, he brought onto the market his first good sewing machine. And it was a monster, big, black, industrial looking thing. Um, and as soon as he brought it onto the market, he ended up in court because what he had done, this is the genius, what he had done is he had copied like the feed mechanism, the teeth, which are on every sewing machine today, invented by Alan B. Wilson, which come up and move along and drop up down for motion. He took Elias Howe's needle with the hole at the wrong end, you know, genius idea. He took all these great ideas and he put them together and built in 11 days, so he says, the first sewing machine that was practical, that worked, that was reliable, that you could give to Mrs. Jones and, and that she could sew with it. He spent years in court until another bit of genius he got together with all the people who were suing him and created an illegal monopoly which was called the sewing machine combination. So all the people with all the patents, um, he basically got together, they all got together in a group as a sewing machine cartel and they sued everybody else. Instead of suing each other, they sued everybody else. They made machines using each other's patents and flogged them to everyone and then sued everybody else who was using their ideas. And so 1851, then all through the 1850s, Isaac is improving. He brings out big monster machine, small baby machine, useless. Then he brings out the new family machine and models go by, one, two, three, four. And then around the middle, early middle part of the American Civil War, he brings out the Singer Model 12. Now this changes the world because this is the first brilliant sewing machine in the history of the world. This machine is reliable. You could give it to Tom, Dick and Harry and they could sew with it. They could make everything from the upholstery to the chair covers to the dresses, you name it, to the curtains, they can make it. And this is the machine. This is the last sewing machine that Isaac Singer had his fingerprints all over. He made so much money from this that he basically just ran off with every beautiful woman he could find, had so many children nobody really knows. He mentions 24 of them in his will, I believe. So here it is. And what he incorporates is, this is the genius of the man, he incorporates the beauty with mechanical perfection. And he, he creates this by using all of the patents that were available, all the good patents that were available at the time. And he puts together just a wonderful sewing machine. And so at the end of the American Civil War, you could have bought this machine. And, and it's not just practical, but it's beautiful. If I hold it up like that, I don't know if the camera will catch that. It's in this beautiful shape there. And they call this shape the fiddle base. So the Model 12 was pretty, it was light, it was portable, it did a lovely stitch, it was easy to use, 
and it incorporated loads of patents. And from this machine, a man who couldn't even have his coats repaired became one of the richest men in the world. And when he died as an old man down in Paynton in the west country of England, he was married to a woman decades younger than him, um, a French, half French actress called Isabella. And, uh, and she was considered the most beautiful woman in Europe at the time. And some say, and I believe it, I've seen a lot of pictures of her, that she modelled uh, the Statue of Liberty. So when you see the Statue of Liberty, you are looking at Isaac Singer's last wife, the wife that went to his funeral. And so here we are, the beautiful Singer Model 12, the machine that changed the world, invented by the man who, who whatever people say, was the first person to invent or make or put together a really, really good sewing machine. And there we go, I just thought I'd show you it. And that's, uh, that's how today is over. Thanks for seeing it.